Well, I think, you know, uh, mon identifying waist circumference as a target is important for two reasons. First of all, for a given BMI, if you have a larger waistline, you'll be at greater risk of type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease because you'll have more abdominal fat and likely more liver fat. Now, in our life, three-year lifestyle modification program, we found that some of our men who uh, became more physically active, improved their nutritional habits, they gained some muscle mass because they were physically active, they lost some visceral fat, but on the beam scale, they didn't show any weight loss. So if you are a physician and you, you, you're, you're suggesting to a patient, well, you should eat better, you should be physically active, the patient listens to you, come back, come, comes back to you, you know, a year later, very disappointed, doctor, I've not lost a pound. You measure the, the waist circumference and the waist circumference have been, has been decreased by six centimeters. Well, you know that you, you, the patient has listened to you. He has just gained some muscle mass, reduced his dangerous abdominal fat, but it does not show on the beam scale. I think this is very, very robust evidence that, and don't get me wrong, losing weight is okay, but I think losing waist is even more relevant.